Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video tutorial, we have created the menu page where we can insert entries for menu location. Now, we will create the tab as we have discussed in the previous video tutorials that we will use Ajax solution so we don't need to refresh the page again and again to perform any kind of operation like create entries list down them and edit them so in this video tutorial we will create three tabs the one for create menu location second for list and third for editing that but in the beginning we will play with only two tabs so <coughs> we will use bootstrap solution and create tabs so right after this I will start creating tabs give him class as container in this container we will create the header so div class and here is the content class okay <coughs> uh, we can give it ID as content ID is content and now we will create tab UL in the UL I will give it ID as tabs then class nav the nav bar nav. here is the nav bar but we need nav tab okay this and then data attribute will be tabs target is tabs so this is the target tabs now within this I will create tab 1 okay uh, I will say li and class active so by default it is the first tab here is the a, a tag a have and now we will pass the tab one okay and <coughs> here is the data toggle tab and name it as create menu location then uh, what we will do we will uh, perform the same action again here is the second tab and name it as tab 2 and here we will not use class active so it is a tab 2 data toggle will be tab and here is list menu location now we have created the top header or the navigation now we need to create the content part for this so right after this ul we will create a div in this div there is id as my tab content and classes tab dash content now create the first panel here is class tab pane by default this is active and its id is tab 1 so when uh, this tab 1 is clicked it will be activated or by default it is activated okay uh, then what we need to do we need to create another div in which the content will be placed and it is the row we will give it class as row then 
header. What will head? Okay. Uh, okay, it will add. <coughs> uh, you can also place styles according to your requirement, but I will not giving it. Uh, inside this we have our major code so what we will place here we will place this part okay this <coughs> part here so here is the content okay now uh, let's execute in browser and let's see what is the outcome now you can view that here is the uh, output uh, this one will be used to uh, place the creating part and it will use to create a list down part okay so now uh, what we will do let's create the other part of this tab let's replicate the <coughs> this part which is this deal okay and copy it and replace the name of tab 1 with tab 2 okay so it is a code of tab 1 copy then enter paste and now replace it as uh, tab 2 okay and now here I will say tab 2 now what actually happened is that when I will click on this it will call tab 1 and when I will click on this it will call tab 2 okay uh, after save it save it and execute here refresh it and after refreshing this uh, let's see it is working or not in the bottom you can see the URLs are working but now we have to see that it is in reality it is working or not so now it's refresh and you can observe when I will click on this it will lead to the tab 2 and when I will click on this it will lead to me this so now uh, we can <coughs> use multiple data uh, operations on the same screen uh, with using tab option so I hope this video tutorial is informative in the next video tutorial we will use Ajax to create this part and render the data which is available in the table don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects YouTube channel take care bye bye have fun